Hello everybody, it's Karen and today I am taking part in the Mori Girl Collab Challenge, which is being hosted by Holly at Holly's Dolly Hobby. And I'm going to link her channel and all the participating channels in the description box below. So I hope that you'll check everybody else out uh, who is doing this challenge today. Um, sorry for the vertical format, but I couldn't get things set up horizontally without my... Anyway, we're just living with the horizontal fat, the thing today. And also I got a new ring light. And so you can see it's um, reflecting on her head. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Uh, I don't know if I will continue to use this light or not with Blythe dolls. Anyway, um, this doll here is T for Two, a Takara Blythe from 2003. So this doll is 20 years old. I got her used with only part of her stock. And um, her hair reaches the floor. And there was a second release, I think, where her hair was slightly shorter. Please stop moving around. Uh, this is her pull cord that's wrapped around her neck, so just pretend it's a choker or something. And I have her dressed in, I'll explain what these pieces are. Um, Mori Girl or Forest Girl it is like a cottage core or a aesthetic from Japan. And uh, it usually involves lots of long flowy things and long flowy pieces and lots of layering. Um, think about walking in the woods in the fall is pretty much like the whole aesthetic. So, uh, she has the boots on that she came with, and she has a coordinating bag. This is a um, mini fashions handbag. I don't have, I only have two or three of those. So, I was happy I found that. This dress was one of the first ones I made when I was first learning to sew for dolls. I didn't have a pattern, and um, it's all hand stitched. And this piece here is a one sixth um, doll sweater that I got off of AliExpress. It's really well made. I'd like to get more in different colors. Uh, <clears throat> and I thought that it worked so well with this long maxi dress because it's a maxi sweater, as you can see. It's like a coat, sweater coat kind of a thing. And um, yeah, I've had her, I honestly had her in this outfit like before even the Mori Girl Challenge was um, announced. And I was going to try to do a couple different pieces um, maybe something for Surrey, and so show two, two dolls, but, um, I got sick at the last minute and scrapped all that, so, um, I hope you'll go, and that's pretty much it, that's all to say about this outfit, since I did not, <laughs> I didn't, I don't have anything else to say, really, except I really like the Mori Girl aesthetic, it's, it leans into the boho hippie aesthetic that I grew up wearing, and, um, I hope that, um, I hope we'll be seeing a lot more Mori Girl outfits in general. I know that, there, again, there's people doing this challenge. And then also there is, um, over in the Virtual Blythe group, I believe they're doing some Mori Girl stuff right now too, which is kind of a funny coincidence, but maybe it's the whole fall walking in the, in the forest. It's on everybody's mind, right? Um, I did want to mention about this tea for two. I don't know if you can see it, but her lips are supposed to be brown and she has this olive green, olive yellow eyeshadow, but the, ch the color in her cheeks is still there, but it has faded somewhat. She's in pretty good shape, <coughs> excuse me, except for the ends of her hair, which are quite dry and tangly. Um, her hair is just so long. I really like how calm and sweet she looks. She looks to me like somebody who would like to take long solitary walks in the forest, but maybe next time she should put her hair up in a, I mean, I can imagine that hair getting caught on literally all the branches and things. So maybe she should put it up uh, when she actually goes out into the real forest. All right, with that, I'm going to take, I'm going to say goodbye and I'm going to go check out everybody else's videos. I cannot wait. This whole Mori Girl Cottage Core aesthetic is like one of my favorites. I'm so excited to see what everybody did. And, um, I will talk to you guys very soon. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you then. Bye!